What is up guys, it's your boy Fixit Daniel, and today we're going to be working on the scooters. We're going to be um, figuring out how we can swap pieces over and figure out how to tear it down. Oh wait, I already did it. Let's show you how we're gonna do it. So guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something different. Um, uh, thank you guys. For, I want to just say thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, this one probably wasn't on anybody's awesome list. I think over the um, the reel, the shorts that I got, I think I only got like maybe one or two likes on the video. And that's okay. I asked for you guys' opinion and you guys gave it to me, which was nothing except for one person. I don't know who that is. But whoever that was, thank you. But um, today uh, we're going to be trying to figure out the scooter thing. I actually already started breaking it down because um, it was just so stupidly simple that um, I just started kind of going ham on it. So I kind of started tearing it apart. And you're going to freak out, but let me show you what I've gotten so far. So we've gotten a little crazy on this. <laughs> uh, so we tore apart the whole entire both scooters. I, uh, this is the one that we are going to be using. And this is the one that was the, the donor one that we're going to use the pieces for. So, you know, this didn't seem very awesome, you know, at the time and no one was really interested in it, but I find this kind of interesting because what we're really doing is we're, we're taking good parts and putting them on an older one. Now, this is the one that I think we're going to use because we had all this stuff here, but I actually don't think we're going to be using the harness. So this harness here, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. So... This could be older. This could be newer. The only reason why is these wires are like hardwired together. You'd have to cut and snip. This one over here is all plug and play. This is all harness deconnected. They got all these different connectors you can take off and put on and all that stuff. Where this one here, let me get around this chair, it's all, it's all wired. It's all wired up. There's no cut points. There's no nothing you could take off or anything like that. But this is, seems older. So what I'm thinking is, and this motor seems like it could be a little bigger. I mean, they're pretty identical, maybe a different design and whatnot. But I'm thinking that either we do one or two things. We we'll either, one, keep this motor and try to get rid of this harness and use this harness, which I'm trying to figure out now. That's why we got both motors torn apart, trying to see how the, the how they're laid out. And they're pretty much the same. This this one's a little different. Um, it's, it's a little bit different setup, but I could cut the wires and kind of reuse that. Cause I wonder that. Um, so I'm thinking about reusing this one because this one has the disc brakes. This one has the drum brakes. So, my gander is that the reason why they would have disc brakes is either one, just an option, or two, this motor is way more powerful than this one. They look pretty identical, a little different in some standards, but they're pretty much the same because this one has a, a bigger transmission gear and that one's got a smaller one. So we're thinking that this one's probably the faster one. It's got a really cool exhaust sticking out and this one just sticks out the side like a normal weed whacker would normally have. So trying to figure out how to get this laid out and really the only thing holding us from switching it over is this little transformer here and this pull cord. Now this pull cord works fine, but this is different from this pull cord. This one's got the circle, that one's got the square, or the, or the rectangle or oval or whatever. And then, you know, this has the same, this has the same transformer, just that this one's plug and play. The connector is it's right there. That, that, that's the connector for that. And then we could reuse it. So if I could find a way to take off this transformer and put it on the old one, we could reuse this whole entire harness and the key because this key, this one has a key. That one doesn't have a key. We were going to use that. But the problem is, is that he's got these little these little clippy things here. They're not they're not slide on clips. They're actually welded and taped and stuff. But this one has a harness where this one does not does not have a harness. It's all spidered and lined in. This is a simple disconnect, reconnect, and then we could plug and play everything back in. Um, you know, taking off all the stuff with the bars. You know, just doing the whole thing and reusing it all. So 
this should be a simple, easy, hopefully replacing. So um, that's what we're going to be getting into. Um, I still haven't figured out how everything's going to work, but I think we're definitely going to try and figure out something. Um, but I do think that this motor is older, um, older model, and then this one's a newer model. But like I said, I don't know if the motor difference would matter. If the motor difference doesn't matter, then we may just, you know, take everything, take everything off of here and put it on this and take everything off here and put it on there. Because I want this frame. I do like this color frame, but this has drum brakes front and rear and this has disc brakes front and rear. The same length, same height, same everything, just different design. Different design in the bars, different design in the bars. So everything is a little different on each one of them, but can be possibly interchanged. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now. Um, I'm not for sure the seat, I think they're like 49 cc's or something like that. They're, they're, they're a basically a, a weed whacker motor. Whatever a weed whacker motor size is, that's pretty much what this is. Um, so um, we're just trying to figure out how we're gonna do this and how are we going to get this all inner working right now. So it is kind of a hit or miss. Um, uh, I'm not really quite for sure. Um, it looks pretty simple. I just got to figure out a few things. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Okay, guys. So we're back. Uh, still trying to figure out how to get these out. But we got our game plan. So basically, if we can get, if we can get these wires off of here and then these bars come off, they got these little, these little like pieces here. You take it and then it slides off. Then we just got to get... They got to get the disconnect, the um, disc brakes front and rear. If we can get this harness out and these bars off, then we should be good. We may not be using this light or turn signal. I think we're just going to just try to get the bike up and running with, with just, like with this one, I think we're just going to get just the light working because it's not technically a, you know, you don't have to get a license plate for it. So the light is just there for whatever, or we could take the light out and just get the bike to be a complete runner. And then don't worry about the lights. Because both of them are kind of pretty bad. But we'll try to see what we can do. Maybe we can cut into two, this one and use it. Or vice versa and get the wiring right. We'll figure it out. Um, the only thing about this is that this battery is like fused into this um, into this thing. So they put like little plates in, but the battery's now been in there for so long it's fused to it and I can't get it out. So it's a good thing we're not using this frame. I, mean, I could get it out, but since we have another frame and that one has, the only reason why we're keeping this frame is because the disc brake mounts are mounted to this black one. So we're gonna be using this one. So the goal is to get all this harness and everything disconnected, laid to the side in one, Get all this disconnected, laid to the side, and then if we can get this wiring set into this bike over here, we're good. Get the wiring in here, get it set to the side, then we can get to the motor, and then we should get everything back up and then reconnect these with the new lines, the new cables, and everything. I think we should be good. Um, it's going pretty quick. Uh, quick. Um, we just have to get the motor to turn over. We can get the motor to turn over, and uh, we got to get a new battery because um, this battery came out of the black one, and it is completely dead. It's dead, dead. So there's no point in even charging. I tried charging, and it won't charge. So we got to get a new battery and possibly a charger to charge the battery, but that's towards the end. I think we can still get the bike turned over as long as we can turn the key because I think that's the issue is that it needs to have some kind of spark. And I think we might need a battery because it needs some kind of spark. So without the battery, there's no way to give the 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 uh, the motor spark except for the turnover. Which I think we can do that if we can rip the cord and start the bike. I don't think we don't need the battery right away. We can get the battery later. The battery is really more really just lights, um, electric starter for the electric starter, uh, lights, and. Uh, maybe helping it with some power, but the rip cord would definitely definitely do that as well So um, we're gonna try and get all this together and we'll go from there All right guys, so we're back. 
Um, I did one of the one of the worst mistakes you can ever do when you're working on something with wiring is never take it off until you figure out where it goes. It took me forever to figure out where it all went to. I had to go online, and then I actually realized I did a video. My previous video I had done earlier um, had showed where everything went. So I was lucky. I got lucky, and I got everything back to where it was supposed to go. So don't take wires off until you label them or at least video them or take a picture before you so you know where they go um so now we are good um i think just a recap um we're just going to try and get this thing to run so we're going to try to get the motor to run which is not this motor it's um that one so the reason why we're doing this one is because we're going to use this wiring harness because this wiring harness is plug and play and it should work just fine um, with everything from up here. So we're going to take those off and slide them. And then we're going to keep all the wiring and everything. And then we got to take apart the front and rear cables um, before we put the before we put them on here. Because these are disc brakes. And this is drums. So we're not going drum. We're going disc. Um, so um, what we're pretty much going to do is uh, use this wiring harness. Because like I said, it's easier. We're going to have just this light. Maybe we'll try to get the rear lights working. We may not use this one because this one's completely cut and broke and not working at all. This one's kind of sort of intact. So we just got to figure out where the lights go and turn on and, and everything. So we may um, end up keeping the lights if we can get them to work. Um, I'm not quite for sure. I think it'd be probably better just to keep it this simple because this isn't this isn't anything crazy. This is just this is just something to kind of put around on something he can put around on. I really don't think he needs any lights and signals and all that stuff like that. This is something that you could ride on the street if you were just putting around or take it on the, you could take it on the sidewalk or take it to the beach and ride it up on the boardwalk. This isn't anything crazy. So um, try to keep it simple. Basically, we're just going to use this key so we can turn the key. So because we, we want to keep the key so we can either do the, the uh, there's an electric button. So this does electric start or you can pull it. Just like how this one is, you can you can hit the electric button to start it like you normally like a motorcycle, or if it doesn't work, you can kickstart it. So um, we're trying to do the same thing with this, kind of keep that consistent so he has two different options instead of just one. So if the battery dies, or some odd reason the battery dies, he could still pull start it and still be able to ride it home or whatever. Um, so hopefully this will will still all work out. But before we start tackling this, because because all this wiring is going to be gone. We're, once once we get this all figured out and uh, tagged and taken off, we're going to just gut this whole thing. These wires are not going to be used except for probably the lights on the back of them. We'll probably keep. But everything else that goes all the way up to here is gone. We will not be using it. We'll be cutting it because it's going to be a pain in the butt to get this all out. So we're going to just cut it. We're going to cut it, move it get it all redone. Maybe we can reuse this light up here. I don't know. And make it to, to keep this, to keep this in place. But that light there should work just fine here. But that, it is a light up there too. So maybe we could try and keep it, do our best to keep it, but I'm not going to promise anything. Um, we're just trying to get this going. Um, this small little project. Um, it's really, it's quite simple. If, um, we just get this wire loom going and get this wire loom in here. Once we get the wiring system in here, messing with the motor and stuff will be the very last thing to do. And then we should be able to get this started and we should be able to get be able to go. Um, so we have to take apart the motor. Uh, not really take it apart, but just take apart the carburetor part. Make sure all the jets and everything's clean. We're going to leave the settings exactly where they were because I'm sure it was running whenever they had it. Get to keep the jets exactly where they were. Um, the settings exactly where they were. And just clean it out. Make sure it's all nice and cleaned. Make sure the spark plugs are good. And then, which it looks like they are. Make sure the spark plugs good. Put everything back together. Uh, then we'll probably rip start it. If not, we'll put a battery on it. Um, I got I got my little kids a uh, little um, little RC a uh, little uh, uh, Tonka toys one. We'll use that to use to get the start because that's a, that's a 12 volt battery. So we can hook right up to it, get power to use electric start, start that way, however we need to do it. But we're going to try to get this thing running. This should be a simple thing. Um, so we just got to get this going. We just got to get this wiring set up and pulled out and get it all laid so that way we can move on to this. 
So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, guys. So we're back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this all labeled um, with some uh, so within some duct tape. I got different kind of colors so I can match them up and then we run out and then we can use zip ties on either end. Just trying to keep it consistent. Um, you could take a picture or you can do what I'm doing, wrapping with tape, just to keep it consistent. So you got, you know, I'm gonna put tape on either end of the connector so that way I know that, that green goes with green, green, and yellow goes with yellow, yellow, red, 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 and then zip tie, zip tie. Just to keep it consistent so I can get this all taken out. Cause once I get this out, I'm gonna end up, um, I'm gonna end up taking this whole entire thing off so I can lay it all out. I think the last thing I would have to do is just deconnect the, um, the cables for the, um, the brakes and then there and there, and then everything should come out. And then we should be good. And then just gotta lay it out and then, then we'll tear apart this one and then we'll kind of go from there. Just kind of get it all wired up. So that's the plan is to get this wired up, get it all in place and then we'll work on the motor and then go from there. So, time lapse mode. Okay guys, um, sorry about that. I guess the video stopped at the last end. I didn't realize it, but um, we got it all taped what we need. Um, we got some stuff taped. There's a few other ones I need to trace and uh, clear focus. <laughs> um, there we go. So um, just got a, uh, this is going to, I think this is like going to a brake switch. Like if you break it, it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to light up because it's tied to the brake cable. Not really for sure if that'll work or not. Um, like I said, the, the back end lights on this one was pretty bad. Um, the other ones are over there. They're kind of wired up a little bit, but I don't know if it'll work um, with everything because some of this stuff's pretty, pretty dated. I don't know if it's all going to work. So we're going on the, a, a notion of not putting in lights in the rear using the lights. So um, so those lights right there we probably won't use. We'll, but if we can get them working, we may try and get them to use, but we may not use them. So I don't know, we have to figure that out because um, I don't know what works because I can't put power to it because nothing's working. But um, I'm hoping that everything will be good to go. But we got it all, um, we got it all taped up and situated, but I'm gonna take some pictures and videos too just to have it as a backup just in case um, I get sidetracked or the tape comes off. So, um, so that would be pretty good. So yeah, that's about it for right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stop for a minute. Um, and uh, getting pretty late. So we will stop and we will reconvene the next day. So let's go to the next day. I'm getting back on the scooter. So um, I've been um, putting it off for a while because I had to get stuff on the cars done. And it's been about a, it's a few days to a week, I think. I, I can't remember. It's been, the days are kind of clashing together. So, um, but we're gonna get back on this, try to get these wirings over, try to get all the wires off of the silver one onto the black one and see how it goes. Cross your fingers, no pressure. So let's get into what we're going to be doing. Let's show you guys what we got. So guys, as you see, here's the scooter stuff if you guys have not seen the videos. Um, so basically, if people you have, for people who have not seen what I'm going, what's going on, is we are trying to use this bike, this black one, as the bike we're gonna be using to put everything together, while this one is the donor. So this one is a lot more nicer because everything's plug and play all the way to the top, and this one has the key, which the key is hanging right there. Um, this motor may run, but the, the pull start is, which is um, this right here, is actually stuck and bad. It won't let you rip it. It might just need to be replaced things to springs, because when you loosen it, it actually re retracts. But then when you tighten it up and put it in there, it doesn't want to. But this one does. So, what we were trying to do is we're trying to take old parts off of this and update it with new stuff on here. So, 
what we are planning on doing is just trying to get this old, get this wiring, this plug and play wiring completely off and over here while we gut these old technology stuff with new technology stuff. It's completely the same bike, same motor, just different styling. So this one has the muffler, that one has a muffler, but it's it's like a weed whacker kind of muffler where this one's more like a scooter kind of muffler. But um, there's a lot of parts that are the same and identical, just, just different design, you know, but there's nothing different. The bike is the, even the frame is the same as this frame, nothing different except for, you know, this yoke, um, this, the handlebars here is a little different from this one, but this one has the disc brakes where this one has drum brakes. So it's just a lot of uh, pieces that are swapped between the two that we are trying to keep and get rid of and, and use and not use. So um, it's a little daunting of trying to go back and forth. You're trying to take uh, parts off of here that are good and put it on here while you're taking off old parts on here. We're not putting it back on here. This is just gonna be bare bone, whatever it is. But this is one is gonna be the, is the project that we're trying to grab and do. So we're just trying to make sure we're doing it right. Take our time, you know, don't rush through it. Even though this is simple, it's nothing crazy, but it's still something that you wanna take your time on because you can easily get these messed up. They're not, it's not one size fits all kind of thing where they're all keyed differently, where you can't, where you can't mess it up. You can mess it up if you, with the lights. Um, some of the main stuff you can't, just a little bit bigger, but you could easily get them crossed and you'd be sitting there trying to figure out which one's which, but it shouldn't take too long to figure out what's what. Um, but uh, this one would, this is a headache. This is a rat nest headache trying to keep this and reuse this. It's, it, it's not too, too bad, but it's a lot of soldering and a lot of putting together where this one's just plug and play. And um, so that's what we're trying to do. So I'm nervous, I guess, cutting this out, but we're not gonna use any of this. This is what we're using. So let us get this all cleared out, get all these wires out of this little, this little crevice where the battery goes. Um, we gotta keep a few things, take off a few things before, but we gotta take our time and make sure we do it right. Otherwise we could mess this up. With, with what we want to reuse later. We're trying to reuse these lights here if we can. So I don't want to cut them completely, just cut, cut, cut. I want to make sure that I'm I'm knowing where they're going and, and, and make sure that they're not going to be intertwined with the ones I'm about to chuck. So um, they got some on here as well. Um, so we'll have to play with that later. But really all I want to do is get these wiring over so we can start messing with the motor and get that started. And then we can kind of work our way towards the end of getting the lights and batteries and stuff like that. So let us get into it. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start taking these out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start getting these wires off. Let's see if you on this side of the camera. Might be a little bit better. Scoot you in just a little bit, put you down. So we're going to get all these wires out, um, but we need to keep this together so we can figure out um, how to reattach, because we're going to reattach this to, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to reattach this to the new one over there, because all the new ones gets plugged into the same kind of, kind of like, I guess it's like a like a relay or something, like a starter relay. I'm not for sure what that is, but um, it looks like a starter relay because a lot of stuff's running to it. Um, so it looks like it could be it. But one of the things you want to keep these wires, see where they go, try to snag them all in one, one end. And I think, yeah, we're going to have to. We're gonna have to snip snip these and then just, uh, then we'll just go on to the next thing. So let me get my cutters. So what we're pretty much gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and just cut these. Um, these are the lights going somewhere, but they're they're all spider into this little piece here. Let's see, I wonder if we just oh there we go. That's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, get better. There we go. 
All right, sorry, I just want to get so you guys can see what I'm doing, um, if you're interested in it. Uh, so, so we got some wires here that we don't need, and everything's going to go. So it's really just cutting and pull it all out. So like I said, this one we're just going to keep, so we're just going to just snip them. I was a little worried about doing this, but you know what? That's out of the way. <laughs> So, um, uh, let's see, and then I think that's it, this is, must be the horn wire, but this horn wire is spliced into all of this wire. Yep. Oh, it's already been cut too. Alright, well, we'll just do the same. All right, I don't want to cut too much stuff, so this, this wire here goes to this um, little like um, transformer thingy. It's what gives power to, it's what gives spark, basically, as it's rotating, it hits those little, it's got these little markers in there. So it hits hits it and causes it to get sparked to the to this. So um, uh, the other one is pretty plug and play. So that's why we're trying to like we're going to take this out and use that one over there. Everything that's that's old and connected to this is not going to be used. So we'll go ahead and just cut. All right. So this is out of here. I think we're almost ready to pull all this out, except this one right here. We're going to get our get our open end wrench or our, our ratchet per se. Just get our just get our ratchet. I'm just going to get this nut off. So we can de de detach this stuff here. Pretty simple. I'm gonna get this separate this black cable here. So we're gonna lift this off, put this nut back on. And actually, should be good. Alrighty. Got some more wires. Oh, that's the grounds. That's, a, that's the grounds. Okay. All right. Not a big deal. This would be the ground for the battery cable. All right. So, cut that. Cut this. guys so we're gonna finish this up I'm trying to make sure I don't go crazy cutting which I don't think I've already have <laughs> so a lot of this stuff can come on out um except for Snipping away. These two. Alright. <clears throat> one more wire. And this one is the fuse. If I'm not mistaken. Let's get some light on here. So that's the fuse. I'm not too worried about that. And that's the fuse. Line there, just pulled it out. So 
of the fuse. Out. Blowing. And it's starting to clear up. Now it's just left with this, which is just like This, There's that, that's out. Uh, I can put one more on this ground here. Just gotta come out. All right. Well, now it's just this cable, this throttle cable that's left. Um, that one we can go ahead and take off. Back later, if you have to reuse the new one, which you probably will because that one looks like it's been damaged here, it's got a little rust there. We'll probably take that out, and then this whole tray will be good to go. We're probably gonna take this one out and use the one that's in the panel. So, I think this is probably where you come out. There's the charging cable. Um, you'd buy one to charge, to charge the battery. But um, I'm trying to figure out the battery issue. I don't know what we're gonna use. Maybe use the same setup. Maybe get a lithium charging one we could charge ourselves, something like that. Um, we'll see. Maybe they can go ahead and go buy the same charger and then charge this up one way or another. Um, okay. So this bay is cleaned out, except for this throttle cable. We'll trim, actually we'll just trim this, because we're not going to actually use this. Uh, we'll leave it, because if we happen to decide we want to use it, because we could use it. So we'll leave that there for the time. I mean, it's not killing anything. Um, right now it's just plugging the pull up. Um, so, we get the throttle cable off, and then pull that out, and then undo the rear brake cable. That'll come out and then do the front, and then we should be good. And then all we gotta do is just take apart the other one and get it switched over. So let's finish this up so we can um, finish, at least finish this out. So um, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get these cables out of here so that way the last little pieces, um, this brake cable here, throttle cable here and then the front cable up there and then everything should come out and it should be it. Then what we're going to do is we'll um, later, um, maybe in another episode, we'll, we'll, um, we're going to get this all cleaned up. So we're going to get this done so we can um, get this all cleaned out. So before we move forward, we're going to get all the, all the, the dust and uh, trash and gunk out of the wheels get out of the bay before we go put the cable back on that way we got a nice clean insulation everything's cleaned out and we just gotta rewire everything so that's what we're gonna be doing so let us start with the throttle cable here See if we can get this cable out. Which should be easy. Whatever it is, isn't it? Oh, I see. Turn it. Turn it.
All right, twist it. And then, out she comes. So this throttle cable. Cables out. Put this in the back so we don't lose it. Now we're gonna get this throttle cable off here. Actually, it's pretty loose. We have to um, take our wrench here. goes like like that pulls it tight so that's cool so like so when it when it's going to break caliber it should be actually it should be out a little further but then when they pull it it pulls that to, to pull on the brake so that's probably why it wasn't moving because the thing was locked up this cable was seized anyway so out it goes. And then, just gonna do the same thing here on the front. Alright, so same thing here. It just pulls. You see how that one's a little more easier. It should be out like that and then you just had to put a little thing around, then when it pulls, it just pulls the brake. So, we're going to loosen this up. Alright, here it comes. Alright, so, so like the whole thing just, just goes down. Remember that. So, remember, this thing goes up goes up like that um, or maybe a little bit like that so it can still pull you don't want it super super down because then it'll be open but you want it to be like maybe a little bit pull so you got a little bit of a brake pull and then just pulls up so all that's out so now what we gotta do is just move these out the way and then we'll be all right guys so we are completely gutted this whole entire thing is gutted all the cables are out the only cables are not is these, which we gotta switch over when we do the motor. Not worry about this right now. We'll actually do this when we do the motor fixing. Um, this is really simple. It's just two bolts. Then this will, this whole entire, this whole entire harness piece will, this harness piece will come out. We'll put in a new one to replace this, and then this will get reused on the new one. And then we can, if we can reuse all this and that, and we still have. This motor here, if anything we need to take parts off of to make this run, we can do that. And then, um, so the real thing is just now is um, what we'll do is we got to get this all cleaned up, get this all nice and all this dust and dirt and everything out of there so we can get nice and clean. So when we put the new wires in there, everything will be nice and clean. Um, you know, we'll just blow it. We'll uh, blow it, vacuum it. We're not going to rinse it or wash it or anything. Maybe we might rinse it and wash it. But we won't get too crazy with it. Um, we'll just try to get as clean as we possibly can with some air and probably a vacuum. And that should take care of most of it. Um, so we should be good. Um, it's all good. Like all this is all the cable, all this is off. Everything is done. The brakes are off. We're gonna be using those. Um, we'll probably put some air in these tires too. Make sure we can put some air in these tires. It's just it should be a tube in there. It's not a it's not a tire with on a rim. It's actually um, it's got a tube in there. So we should be able to fill that back up if the tubes aren't rotten. If the tubes are rotten, then we may have to take those off and replace the tubes. But cross fingers, um, hopefully we should be okay. Um, maybe if anything, we've had to change tires. If those t if those tires over here on this one is good, then we'll just swap them out. It shouldn't be that hard to do, um, hopefully. So 
um, best of luck with that. And then um, now we're uh, we're good to go. All right, guys. Well, that's it for right now. We're gonna stop right there. We're gonna wait because we have to go to the next. We have to do it another day. Uh, we will have to clean it, vacuum it, and get it all cleaned out. So, um, so yeah. So it's coming along pretty good. Um, I had to stop one a few times. I had to do some other stuff, but um, we're definitely making some headway on it. Um, it's not really a rush. Um, maybe he'd be good for for the summer. So we got plenty of time. It's just starting. The winter hasn't even started yet. So. But um, definitely be something that would be nice to get running for him. So we'll definitely get back on it and we'll definitely get it running right. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I know a lot of people weren't liking this um, or at least didn't give it interest. Um, but um, for the people who did give me a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. Um, it really, really helps out. Um, but um, um, we'll be getting on some more cooler stuff for you guys that you guys will be interested in watching. But um, thank you guys for all the love and support. May we truly be blessed, and you guys have a good and blessed night, and I'll see you guys on the next fix. Until then, peace.